Welcome back, guys. As promised, I'm here with the bonus um, video for today. This is an idea using those off-cut pieces from your uh, frames that we made. If you weren't here for the, the first video that I did today where I was showing you how to make some beautiful altered playing cards using some handmade frames um, that we made the other day, then make sure you go and look at that video and I will link it um, in the description. Anyway, so this is the bonus video for this. I said I was going to have uh, two ideas for you uh, using your off cuts. So we're going to start with this first one since it requires a little uh, drying time. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got the, the, like, the skeleton from where we cut out the frame. And I'm just going to give that a little bit of ink. And I got a, a book page that I'm going to use. Of course, you guys know how you can just add these into your, um, you know, your, your journals by gluing them down. So I'm just going to ink around these edges. And if you haven't done that video, one suggestion that I will make when you are cutting out your frames Try to go in toward the bottom if you can and make your, you know, your first cut there. That way, you know, you can hide. I'll show you how to hide that when, once you glue it back. But anyway, let's go ahead and um, get that inked up on the inside. I saw somebody inking like small little areas like this with a makeup little um, applicator, an eyeshadow applicator. I really need to go get some. I don't, I'm pretty sure I have some in my makeup bag. I don't wear a lot of makeup all the time because um, usually I'm at work or whatever and sometimes I work early in the morning. So sometimes I wake up and I'm like, you know what, <laughs> what is makeup? Anyway, so what I'm going to do with this page, let me go ahead and um, give that a little bit of ink. Not that it's going to be super necessary if you're going to, you know, but just to give it some definition. All right, so we are going to um, take this and kind of line up where we want it on the page because we're going to have a, a little bit hanging off, kind of like a little tab. So what I'm going to do is flip that over and kind of mark a little bit, lightly mark where I, how far I want it to go. I don't want I don't want to glue it past that, but I don't want to glue this fabric past that. So what we're going to be doing basically is a lace uh, pocket tab for a book, um, a book page. And of course you can use external book page or you can do it directly to one of your journal pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, this is part of a, um, a vintage handkerchief uh, and I just, you know, ripped it kind of in the shape that it would fit but I left some overhang down here because I wanted it to overhang a little bit so when we're adding our glue we know that we're not going to go past these two lines with the glue and because we're making this into a pocket that's why I'm going to do this one first because we're going to need a little extra time for that lace to glue and the the glue to dry before we try to make it into a pocket because otherwise it'll stick down and we won't be able to make a pocket with it. All right, so now what I'm going to do, making sure that your your pieces are kind of lined up down here at the bottom because you want to keep the integrity of your outline. And so we are just going to bring this up here making sure not to go over our line because we don't want the lace to be seen from the back page I mean of course it really wouldn't hurt if you did but we're just going to make sure we glue this down paying special attention to this little area over here I'm not going to make mine super taut because I, I want to keep some of that wrinkly texture going on there in the middle so we are going to, now that this is, you know, we got some glue on there, 
make sure you kind of have this part glued down. You want to make sure you have that that little off cut piece glued down pretty good. Okay. And now we're just going to I guess while we're we're doing that, we can go ahead and work on this edge. And I'm going to be using some of this gold foil uh, tissue um, that we used in the other project today. And I'm just going to give a little line down here. And we're basically just going to be scrunching this up. You could leave this um, like it is because that's a nice, that's a pretty edge. But for this one, I'm just going to take this and kind of just scrunch it up, you know, glue it and scrunch it up. I saw a, a young lady doing something similar to this. Um, I was watching last night, excuse me, I was half asleep, but she did um, some paint. It was a, um, a beautiful uh, video about some blue, um, she had some blue, um, uh, oh my god, I can't think. Um, she had some blue, oh, um, <laughs> digitals, some blue digital, um, paper, and it was really, oh my god, it was so pretty. It had, like, these, uh, vintage-looking, uh, boudoir women, and some of them looked kind of western. She said it was a Paris-themed something, and I really, really loved it. And she was doing these really fun uh, wrinkles, not wrinkles, but um, ruffled edges, some with bookmark um, at the edge. I, I, I think it was book, uh, book edge tutorial or something like that. You might be able to search it up. And since I've got this extra little one, I think I might um, do a second little row right here on top of that just to give that a little extra frill right there and this is the beauty of like making like these ruffles with like tissue paper because they they ruffle up so quickly and they they take to the glue so so fast okay so got that little bit over here kind of wrinkle that in place a little bit more okay so we're gonna now that we're to that point on this one we're gonna set this to the side and let it completely dry and you can choose to cut this edge off if you want to but I rather like that so I'm gonna leave that there and we're gonna set that aside and while we're doing that while that's drying I'm gonna flip that over so it can dry we're gonna move on to our second idea and our second idea what we're gonna use is like you can either use like some plastic uh, packaging some acetate like some vinyl or however you want to um, do that and we're because we're going to make a shaker um, for you can glue it down make a tuck you can turn it into a journaling space I, well I don't know we're going to be putting um, confetti in there so you might not want to use it as a, a journaling space um, but it could very well become a pocket or it could become a tuck you know however you can do a flip out with it you know how you can make it into a tag however you want to do it so now that we're inking the exoskeleton of that frame and there we go and we're just going to glue our plastic down to that make sure we don't have anything stuck to it so we're going to go along the outline of that. Again, we're going to play, may pay close attention to the area down here where it separates because we want to make sure we keep as much of the integrity of that as we can. But of course, I'm going to show you how you can hide it. So 
So we're just going to glue that down on there. Making sure you keep your pieces together down here. All right. Flip that over and make sure that that's as close together as possible. Okay. Try not to get as you know too much glue on there. On the outside, you can wipe it off. I hope I'm in frame. Um, I'm in a rush. So if you're not in a rush, of course you're going to do better than I'm doing right now. So anyway, now that we have our acetate piece there, we are going to basically glue it. But first we're going to cut off this excess acetate because we won't need that. So anywhere it went over, I'm just going to cut that. And there's pieces here that didn't get glued down, so I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm just going to cut that part off that I didn't need to really glue down. Than this area down here. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this video quick. When you're doing this on your own, of course, you'll be more careful where you put your glue at. Okay, so now we got that there as close as possible. Now we are ready to glue this down to here. We're going to put our confetti in the general middle area of that. So we're just going to open up some of this little confetti. And we're going to put it directly down here. I'm pretty sure there's other methods of doing this. But this is how I'm going to do it. Get a generous amount there. Now. Let's make sure that we got our edges glued down pretty good. All right, and so now we're just going to making sure not to get it like on the opening spot of our frame. Get it along the edges. Move your confetti where you want it to be. Just going to cut along here. Okay, and there we go with our first one. I brought some little gems out here. We're going to just give a little decoration here, starting here. And this, you can cover your, um, your little uh, area where you cut like that. And then you can come back through and do some stamping here. You can put some words, some lace, and I'm going to 
round these edges and I'm gonna round it with my you know eyeball it with my scissors because when you have that acetate it's kind of hard to put um, it through the corner rounder at least mine it is I don't know about anybody else's so I'm just gonna eyeball some corners on here they won't be perfect <laughs> usually I'm letting my little corner rounder do this for me so that I don't know have to know how terrible I am <laughs> at making corners and there you have it a cute little shaker that you can turn into a pocket tuck you can turn into a pocket um, however you want to do that but that's a nice little fun idea to make with your exoskeleton of the frames that we made so there's one and now that this one over here is sorta of dry we can finish this one up and what we're gonna do is just glue this to the page and of course we can go back here and look at our glue line where we I marked it off earlier and know not to go past that and get some glue all the way around here and of course since you're going to be using it for a pocket <coughs> excuse me you're going to make sure not to glue the top because of course that will just close it up for you alright so we're going to actually take the reverse piece of that I'm gonna, on the reverse side so we can see where it needs to be lined up excuse me guys allergy season is here and it is here with a vengeance all right okay so now we've got that on there and we'll give that a moment to dry and so to hide this one what I'm going to do is just come through here with a little bit of trim and end that right there where the ruffle begins. I'm going to put that one more. Let's see. No, I want to end it right there. right there along the bottom and you can bring it higher or lower depending on your preference but I think that is going to be a sweet addition to a page and then of course you can just take your your tag and slide that right off in there and I think that's beautiful because then you can see your tag through there, whatever tag you choose to use. Um, today I'm just using a plain tag that I did a little collaging on and then I added an altered paper clip to the top of it to make it a little fancy. But anyway, that is the two bonus ideas for today, guys. I really hope that you can utilize um, making your own frames because they really do. If you can like mass make a couple of the frames just to kind of have on on hand, they really, really, you know, will jazz up some of your things. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with them, and even you can turn the scraps that you uh, cut them out of into something beautiful to use in your journal. So don't waste your scraps <laughs> like I don't I you guys have seen my scrap pile I don't waste any of my scraps and they're like always totally um, <laughs> my, my scrap 
um, thing is really full. I do have this stamp here um, that I've never used. And since I have it here and I got a, a few seconds before I need to end this video, I'm going to go ahead and add some stamping here to kind of just dress up, you know, this page so it's not like a plain page. And this is a, a, a new stamp, so I don't know how well it's going to stamp. I did see somewhere that there was a trick to to getting new stamps to um, do right. If anybody remembers that trip, 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 <laughs> that trick or knows it, please comment um, down below so I can um, work on my new stamps and getting them like in in shape so that they stamp better. Alright, so we're just going to finish that one off like that. Now, I think that is a beautiful page to add to a junk journal. What do you guys think? You like this project? Which one do you like better? The shaker idea? I like it because it has some, some fun movement to it. I really like that uh, a, a lot. And or do you like this one better? I I like them both. They both would go in different style journals, and I think that that's great because of course you guys know that I love variety. But anyway, I am going to end the video here. You could add this little piece there if you wanted to. Anyway. I'm going to end it there, guys. This has been my bonus video uh, for this for today. Um, I will not be making any more videos this week, um, but look forward to uh, some special tutorials uh, next week. Um, uh, there's going to be a part one and two of a special tutorial that I'm making. And hope you guys enjoy making this. If you're new here and this is something you think you might uh, like to do or you think you might like my content, please uh, feel free to subscribe. I, I would love to have you here. And um, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when more things like this come out. Again, welcome back to my, um, new, my regular subscribers, and I appreciate all you guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!